Hey guys, this is Sari Torres for the Pixel Slayers, and today we're going to talk about the Sega Genestick. No, I did not say that wrong. This is the Sega Genestick, the only official flight stick created for the Sega Genesis. So stay tuned. We recently came across one of these and thought we'd see how it holds up with some of our favorite flight and racing games. First off, let's take a look at the thing itself. Fairly light, using what feels like the same kind of plastics as a regular Genesis controller. It's got a nice grip to it, and it's molded so it will comfortably work for left-handers too. Top buttons are a bit clicky for my liking, but they're okay. You've got B, C, a conveniently placed star button, and a turbo, which is nice. The trigger, which is A, is quite comfortable and has a nice notch so it's easy to pull. It's got four suction cups for stability. I should note that unlike most computer flight sticks, this does not rotate, which is kind of a shame. They could have had it copy left and right or something. Also, the logo looks like it's facing the wrong side, but eh, whatever. Let's go and take this baby out for a spin. But first, let me get a nice heavy strategy guide to keep this thing steady. We're hitting the road with our first test game, Road Rash. This isn't too bad. The controls tend to overcompensate on the left and right, but I was able to get used to it after a while. Also, the punch button can't really be pressed unless you release the gas. I definitely prefer a regular controller for this one, but granted, I don't really think the Jenna stick was made for this kind of game. Um, it was nice to try it out anyways. Next, let's go for Raiden Trad. This was a great experience as the stick made quick reactions simple to maneuver, and though it's quite different than an arcade type joystick, it still gives a bit of that sort of feeling. Using the trigger to fire also adds to the feeling that you're really piloting this little ship. Finally, we're taking Afterburner out for a spin, using our 3-in-1 adapter to play this Master System game on our Genesis. This is definitely the kind of game this stick was designed for. Despite some sensitivity issues, it was fun to actually play this old game with a legit flight stick. The button arrangements aren't to my liking on this one, which isn't a surprise as this game isn't even for the Sega Genesis, but I could easily remap buttons using the Retron 5. Overall, the Sega Genesis stick is a cool, albeit not entirely necessary, controller for your Sega Genesis. Once you get used to the slight increase in control sensitivity, this can add fun spins to your favorite flight, shoot 'em up, and racing titles. These aren't too expensive, so pick one of these up if this seems to be up your alley. This has been Sari Torres for the Pixel Slayers, and thank you so much for watching. See you again soon!